let's start actually with Gindi Boo because that's kind of where he started, and also um, what some who some people believe to be the first Arab uh, in recorded history. Uh, mentioned in the Kukuk, probably butchered that name, monolith of okay. uh, the Assyrian king Shalmaneser III. Uh, Dr. Webb, of course, is in disagreement that Gindibu and his Arba'a were the first Arabs. Um, and rather than proof of Arab ethnic identity, Webb puts forth the idea that Assyrian scribes may have coined the name simply as a Akkadian language administrative jargon connoting Westerners, outsiders, or steppe nomads. Um, and not to specify an actual ethnicity. Uh, and so what, what are your thoughts on Gindibu, his Arba, uh, and them being the first Arabs in recorded history? Uh, well, first I should just say that, uh, uh, well, two things. One is that I, I don't think Peter Webb has any evidence for this. He's just speculating. Mm -hmm. um, but the, uh, you also said Gindibu was the first Arab. Of course, he's only, the first Arab to be mentioned in mm. a written source. Uh, it doesn't mean that uh, he was the Arab, Arab before him. The Arab nation. I'm sorry, I meant to, I, I, I probably should have added that caveat in recorded history. Yes. So, I mean, the, uh, he, he was the first time, it's the first time that we, we have. So far, let's hope we'll find something earlier. Um, yeah. But, um, and, um, but yes, I, I, cannot see in all the, the uh, Assyriologists that I know um, agree that uh, Abba uh, means Arab. I mean, all the, there are lots of different um, ways in which it's spelt, but uh, in, in, in virtually all of them, uh, it has a determinative, a little uh, extra sign, which says uh, that it is a, a people or a, or a country um, that they're talking about. And that's something that Peter Webb didn't understand, didn't realize. Um, and so it cannot mean nomad if it's got this determinative. It means, uh, you know, Arab uh, or Arabia in, in other contexts and so on. But <clears throat> it's, uh, so that's one thing. Also, it seems that the Assyrians and the Babylonians, they mention these Arabs, that they found Arabs, and th they mention them a lot. I mean, we have a lot of cases. Um, and <clears throat> they, um, uh, and very often we get Greek and Roman historians four, five, six hundred years later, finding Arabs in exactly the same spots but, yeah. in, in Lebanon, in northern Syria, in, in, in uh, uh, central Syria, in Mesopotamia, uh, uh, modern Iraq. Parts of the Sinai. You know, parts of the Sinai, absolutely. Um, and so these are, uh, it, it's what the, the, the conclusion that we, we, we come to, I think we are forced to, is that uh, Arabs, are first recorded, and it's very important to say first recorded, in the north, in, in Syria and Lebanon and, and Sinai, uh, uh, Palestine, um, uh, uh, not in, uh, in Arabia, in, in, in the peninsula, that, uh, and that actually the peninsula came to be called Arabian, um, by mistakes made by 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 by, by Greeks, I thought that because the merchant.